What's up guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video. My name is Russell Horry. I am a two-time world champion powerlifter and today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to deadlift. <laughs> So I just finished up my deadlift session and right now I have a plate on the bar. I've done this video before, but I've been getting a lot of requests to run it back. So I want to show you guys how I have my little cues for deadlift and then show you guys how to set up generally. One of the things that you want to keep in mind is that everyone's body is going to be a little bit different. So yes, you could take bits and pieces of what I'm saying and apply it to your physique. And then as you're training, figure out what is best for your particular body. All right, before we actually talk about the technique of doing the deadlift, I want to show you guys the equipment that I use for deadlift. Uh, I know a lot of people on the internet like to use straps. I don't use straps uh, just because you don't use that in competition. Um, so I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to do deadlift with mixed grip. So equipment that I wanna go over that I use is a flat soled shoe. I like to use my wrestling shoes. These are custom made, you can't really find them on the market. But anything with a flat sole is gonna probably do you justice. Some people like to use slippers. Some people even go barefoot. Next up we have a belt, um, pretty standard. You don't have to use a belt, but these are things that are gonna help make the deadlift a little bit easier for you. Okay, so we have the bar here with the plate on each side. You know what's so crazy? People actually don't even know what this thing is. This is a deadlift jack. It sounds so weird explaining what it is, but it basically allows you to lift the bar up and make it a lot more easier for yourself whenever you're changing the weight on the bar for deadlift. Uh, so this is how you use it. Just in case you guys don't know. Just because like I made a TikTok about it and like people were like shocked. So what you do is just line up the bar, put in these little hooks right here, and then jack it up, boom. You don't have to be wasting time like individually lifting each side and trying to put the weight on. Big waste of energy. But anyways, let's get to the actual technique. This video is gonna be super short just because deadlift is like a very, it's like, it's easy to explain, but it's something that you guys are gonna have to be practicing over and over again to make sure you get the form down and the technique that you're gonna be utilizing for your particular body setup. Okay, so now let's talk about setup. Setup is pretty easy. Once again, I'm gonna be explaining conventional. I am not a sumo puller, so I just cannot explain that to you guys. So conventional is basically when you have your feet stance a little bit closer. What you guys want to do to establish that good foot stance is you're going to probably stand about shoulder width apart. Um, and you're, the way you set up against the bar is going to be really, really important. You want to get the bar mid-foot, not all the way to a point where your shins are already touching the bar when you're standing over it. Mid-foot means like right on your shoelaces. So when I'm looking down, there's a little bit of space. If you can kind of show them over here on the side. Uh, there's a little space between my actual shin and the bar itself. That's where you want to stand because when I get in position, then that's when my shins are actually gonna to touch the bar. So you're standing over here, shoulder width, uh, feet shoulder width apart. So now let's talk about the actual setup. The way that you want to get down and reach the bar, I see a lot of people, they get actually a little bit too low. So right here is way too low of a position. If you come and see on the side, it's almost like I'm getting low down to a squat. The deadlift is not really a squat. It's more of a hinge movement. It's more emphasized on the hips. So like when you're going down this low, you're creating an inefficient, inefficient movement pattern and you're gonna be creating a longer range of motion for no reason. So what you wanna do is you wanna push back the hips ever so slightly, like this, almost sit back into it, and then you wanna start bending the knees down and get right to the point where you're touching the bar. You don't wanna go any lower because there's no point in that. So let me demonstrate. So now we have feet shoulder width, uh, shoulder width apart. We're gonna slightly bend at the hips and then come down here. Once again, guys, keep in mind, my body is kind of built for deadlifts, so I don't have to bend my knees as much to get uh, to the bar. But nonetheless, bend at the knees. Now, right here is perfect positioning, right? Because I'm not, if you notice, once I come back up, there's no waste of movement. But let me show you guys how to kind of set up when you're down in that position, because there's a lot of things that can go wrong when you're in that position. So once again, feet shoulder width apart, slight bend at the knees or bend at the hip, then bend at the knees, come down, reach the bar, grab at this part, right? So a lot of people, they don't realize that you wanna kind of create noodle long arms. It's a weird cue, but you wanna make sure you make your, long, your arms as long as possible. And then right before you're about to pull, you want to kind of tighten up and almost act like you're trying to bend the bar into your shins. Anyways, um, you want to bend the bar almost like you're trying, you want to try to actually bend the bar into your shins and that's going to help you get a tighter positioning and stack your, um, your ribs. So we get right here, bend, touch. And that's basically going to help you add tension into the bar. 
it's kind of hard to demonstrate right now, but whenever you add tension to the bar, it's going to allow you to pull the slack out and that's going to help create an efficient pull. Because sometimes people like to yank. When you yank like that, that, that just, <laughs> that's going to create an efficient pull. Your technique's going to fall apart and that's going to probably land to some injuries. Even just doing that, that felt really off. Whenever you're doing a conventional pull, you almost want to cue like a slow, steady controlled explosion. The first thing that I initiate is my lats and then I almost try to push against the floor with my feet and that kind of pulls the slack out of the bar. And then after that, you just kind of like push your hips through and complete the movement. So I'll demonstrate right here from start to finish. Feet shoulder width apart. Bar right in the middle of the, uh, right in the middle of the feet. Bend down. As you can see, shins are touching the bar. Now I want to cue up, tucking the lats. Stack, slack is already pulled. If you guys can see, the bar is like already levitating off the ground. Then you pull. If there was more weight on the bar, what would happen is that the bar itself would just bend. And then after that, everything else is just force production and I'm pulling off the ground. So that's pretty much it. I mean, once again, everyone's delts is gonna look a little bit different because everyone literally looks different. Um, a lot of people want to mimic exactly what other people do without realizing that their anatomies are really different. Like some people have shorter arms, some people have longer arms, some people have longer legs, some people have shorter legs. Uh, but just take bits and pieces. You just want to make sure that you feel comfortable in the movement and you're being as efficient as possible. If you're able to kind of take those cues down, in theory, you should be able to do the most efficient deadlift possible. Once again, <clears throat> I'm going to demonstrate once again just so you guys can see. Go over my cues. Damn, I'm getting a little workout out of this. But anyways. Bar midfoot, a little bit of space in between the shins. Kind of sit back, bend the knees, grab the bar, tuck lats, stack, pull the side out of the bar, push ups through. Easy movement. Hope you guys were able to take something from that Della tutorial and apply it to your own training. But, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. But like always, if you guys like today's video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be better today. I'm out.